everyone, it does Reaper here. So, uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons online, and I am going to be creating a, a champion build, 32 point build for a druid. Um, this is where I got my point set at. I think this is going to be the best point scheme I can actually do for a druid. Um, and here are some of the base things that a druid needs wisdom, strength, constitution, and dexterity. Uh, wisdom is going to be the primary point uh, that I, I really need, so I need a good, decent wisdom. But because I am going to be a melee character, I need a high strength. So I went ahead and went with an 18 strength, 14 dex, 14 constitution, and a 16 wisdom. Um, charisma doesn't matter to me, and neither does intelligence, other than maybe getting a few extra uh, points going into my other skills like right here my science skill points and stuff um so you know i start with eight if i had a higher intelligence i'd be able to start with more um but this is going to be perfectly fine and we'll just assign some points right here want to make sure i got a good concentration concentration is good whenever uh you go to cast a spell while you're actually in combat it helps prevent it from being interrupted and heal is how much uh healing bonuses i get whenever i use a rest shrine and things of that nature um spot is locating something innately um then you have to search for it which then is uh used off of intelligence but uh it's like uh i'll show you search here is intel um so i'm not going to be searching for much of anything i'm not going to really worry about it and i'm not going to worry about use magic device um which is charisma based so so we'll go hide is dexterity based um and it's because it's cross-classed, I have to spend more points in it. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't need diplomacy. I'm not going to worry about that. Bluff may be important whenever I do Delirious Tomb. I need at least a bluff of five, but I can get other things to help me along the way with that. So that's not a huge deal. And then balance. I'm going to want a couple of clicks in balance. So that's that. Now we're going to uh, start with feet. Now there's quite a bit to choose from. Um, you know, you got die hard, which is really good. You know, stabilizes me if I become incapacitated instead of just dying in a dungeon. Um, but uh, hmm, so we'll go we'll look through this here. What is going to be good for Druid, which is a shape shifter? You know, a dodge is, would definitely be good. Um, Iron Will, that's a, it's always a good one. But uh, Lightning Reflexes. Oh, Dragon Mark of Finding. Uh, bestows you plus two search skill. Act with this fate. Harness the um, locate objects. Three times per day, locate allows you to target breakable objects, find something temporarily, but not useful when it is broken. So uh, it's not really my direction. So mental toughness, that can be a good one. Um, thinking about mental toughness. Mental toughness or toughness is good. Um, for the for the beginning, starting out level one, I think it's going to be best to get mental toughness, and then I get these uh, that I already have that are already given to me at level one, uh, which are pretty good. 
So I'll be in medium armor. It's good to just take a look at these just to let yourself know if you're not familiar with the class what you'll be getting and kind of how you'll be playing your character. And then these are, uh, I've been granted all of these level one spells, which is good. You know, Charm, Animal, and Tangle, Fairy Fire, Jump, Long Strider, Magic Fang, Maul, uh, Merfolk's Blessing, Pass Without Trace, Produce Flame, Ram's Might, Shaylug, and Take Down, Summon Nature's Ally 1, and Lesser's Vigor. So, I'm going to have probably a pet to begin with, and then I can use a spell to bring a second pet. So, uh, so that's good. And then that is going to be kind of like my final, uh, my final standing. Yeah, so I'll have a wolf companion. I'll be able to summon. And then, uh. I got all my spells, and then these are my skills here, so it should be good. Now, second guessing here, open lock is going to be very important. What I might do is let me go back to my, to my skills, and I'm going to click off of heal. I'm not real worried about it. Balance, I'll keep hide. I'll unclick that, and you see here, I don't even have, I don't even have the ability to do that, because, why? I'm in the wrong class, so, I'm just going to put these in, the, in balance, there we go, and, Really not going to worry about spot. I'll put it in concentration. All right, there we go. That's better. And then I'll go back here, repick mental toughness. Click that. All right, so that that's a little bit better. All right, I like that a whole lot better. Yeah. All right, so now that I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click Next. And I can customize my character. Um, actually, kind of like the look of her right now. I have work. Uh, got a nice tan. All right, so, you know, the alignment. What kind of alignment do I want? I got Lawful Neutral, Neutral Good, Neutral, and Chaotic Neutral. Well, I'm going to go with the True Neutral. That's always been my surname I've been going with for a long time. And, Medane Rose. All right. And that is character creation. We'll go ahead and we'll enter in. Just wanted to kind of overview that a little bit for you guys. And uh, good luck to you.